Hey guys and welcome to check it out. So today we're not doing an unboxing. Today we're going a little bit different. We're going off the grid today. Today we're doing a review. Review of what? You ask yourself. I guess I'll let you know when we come back after these commercial breaks. And we're back. So sorry, we're back and I'm sorry for keeping you in suspense. But what we came to talk about today is a review on... 999 Broadway Chateau Buffalo Chateau Buffalo Okay, that was kind of weird. Okay, so uh, for most of you who don't know about this, which uh, I didn't know about this, but I guess it's been out for a minute since um, I think 2005, if I'm not mistaken. What began in 2005 as a, like basically a tiny winery on the storefront over a small storefront on Hurdle Avenue has basically transformed to Buffalo's first and only urban winery and cidery. Yes, you've heard it right, folks. Cidery, cider, mm, delicious. Okay, well, this wine, unlike his predecessors, um, if you look in the bag, it tells you, it gives you a Concord blend with Loganberry. Yes, you heard it here first, folks. Loganberry. Can you see that? I hope it's not blurry. Loganberry. So, as you mostly know, there's a lot of Loganberry fans here in Buffalo. And unfortunately, we don't have Loganberry anymore. Anywhere you try to shop and buy it, we don't carry it, which is crazy. Where a lot of folks have to go online and order them on Amazon and so forth, or call the places and so forth and so forth. So, with that said, we decided I'm gonna give it a try because again, people have been giving great reviews, been talking how highly about this product, about this delicious wine, and I myself love wine. And so I wanted to give it a taste. I mean. Well, better than, and I, I'm sorry, guys, if I keep I have a tendency of looking that way because of where I see myself, not realizing that I'm not looking directly in the camera, which shows me looking at you guys, which it looks way better. You know, it's like more appropriate. You know, it's like always look at the person you're talking to and never look away. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> so um, I love my pink Moscato. Moscato. I can't talk right now. <laughs> my pink Moscato. And so today I wanted to try this one. And again, people have talked really highly um, and recommended it. So again, it's locally made. So I want to try it out and see what I think about it. Give you guys my honest opinion. Okay, guys, stick around. We'll be right back. Okay, so now we have our wine glass, of course. It looks clean. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't, you know, the occasional cork where you, you know, pop the cork like you usually do. But it's fine, you know. Beggars can't be choosers. I mean, I'm not begging for it. So let's give it a nice pour. Let's see how it. Ooh, look at that. I could be greedy and fill the whole thing up, but I'm not gonna, because I'm not a greedy person. Ooh. Give it a smell first. You always should give it a smell. I'm not a wine connoisseur or anything like that. I'm not a, you know, I'm not that guy, but it, they always say always smell it before you try it. But then when you were growing up, your parents said, don't smell your food, don't <laughs> eat it. All right. Smells like red wine, but all right. Give it a little swirly swirl. Give it a little. Let the juices flow, if you will. Hmm. All right, here we go. So let's we'll sip it. Wow. You 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 can taste the. The Logan Berryness of it. It's really good. Wow. I'm not going to lie to you guys, and I'm not kissing no one's ass. This is really, really good. Wow. $9.99, guys. And that's not the price of it either, so don't. Hey, you can definitely taste the Logan Berry in it, but it's not too sweet. It's just. It's pretty good. Like I'm not gonna lie, it's almost, it's almost like having Loganberry with just a smidgen of alcohol in it. You can't even taste the alcohol though, but I mean, you know it's there. But it's a smooth tasting. It, it doesn't hit you right away like some, you know, a few, you know, wines that you've had. It has sometimes like a kick to it, um, or like a powerful aftertaste. This one doesn't even have it. I mean, once you finish drinking it, it doesn't give you the aftertaste like some wines do. It's really good. Smells nice. That's really good stuff, I'm not gonna lie. 
I think I might find myself a new taste choice. Whatever, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> a new, well, I mean, I still love my pink Moscato. Don't get, don't get me wrong. Um, it's my ultimate favorite, but I think I found a second favorite, and it's this 999 Broadway. Um, if you haven't tried it, feel free. Um, you can get it in either at the location or in a, mostly any liquor store. Um, I got mine from Niagara Street. Um, Willie's? I, I call it Willie's. It actually has a name, but I call it Willie's because I've known Willie for a while, so I just say I'm going to Willie's liquor store. Um, that's where I got mine uh, at a good deal, and first time trying it ever. And I am impressed. I am really impressed, and I highly literally and i never do this but i highly recommend it for those who want to try something different and those who are big loganberry fans but also like drinking an occasional you know wine here and there this is key this is the one it's it's really good i'm gonna try some more hey okay, some more i need some more wine it's really good i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's really really delicious again if you haven't tried it feel free to do so um it's called 999 broadway there it is, and the bottle's really simple, you know, nothing really major to it, just has a little bit of the designs on it, the number on there, the Buffalo logo there. It also has information in the back, which also gives you their, what is that, their Facebook and Instagram page. So feel free to drop a like on their pages, give them a follow, and let them know what you like about their product, because I sure as hell will. You guys did an amazing job here on this Loganberry mixed thing here version of your wine. I am truly and utterly impressed. And I'm hooked and I got a new drink that I can drink once on occasion when I'm in the mood to just have a little bit of wine and a little bit of music with my vinyls and relax and enjoy the day, enjoy the weekend, a vacation. This is key, this is the one you need to choose. It tastes good. Um, I had it refrigerated. Um, I'm pretty sure if you drink it normally, like room temperature, I think it's gonna be as good. Maybe with some ice or some crushed ice, it'd be really delicious. So feel free um, to go by and pick you one up and then give your honest opinion. If you want, leave a little message underneath if you've ever had it, or if it's your first time trying it and you tried it and you enjoyed it, also leave a message there. Um, we also have my Instagram page, Facebook page, drop uh, information there, let me know what you think about this delicious 9.99 Broadway <laughs> and when I get back I'll let you guys know um, where you guys can reach me at all right guys so this is the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed it it's pretty simple pretty easy pretty basic nothing too in-depth I tried it it was good it was delicious I'm still drinking it mm -hmm. mm. it's really really good it really is, and I barely can just drink something and say, oh, that's delicious. Sometimes I'll give you, oh, it tastes a little funny, it tastes a little this. Right off the key, it's really delicious. And I could probably drink the whole bottle myself, because it's pretty tiny. I'm not saying I'm an alcoholic or anything, but it's, you know. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, feel free to give that thumbs up right down there somewhere. I don't know if it's gonna be reverse, so I'm gonna go here. It's down here somewhere, you hit that, thumbs up give it a I like that video it was really informative and if you also want to join and follow feel free to hit the follow button follow me on my journey there's other videos that you probably haven't seen or watched which are on there on my page and don't forget to hit the notification button because with the notification button I'll give you a heads note when I'm coming up with a new video when it's gonna be uploaded and will be at a local telephone tablet computer monitor or smart TV near you. So until next time guys, as I always say, don't just take a look, check it out. Mm. That's good.